What's up guys, Magnolia Mo here and welcome back to my channel. I recently posted a video about Magic Beans and Direct Live bass control and, and how you can utilize Magic Beans to come up with the true target curve. I got a lot of questions and one of the questions that uh, I, I got was, once whether it's magic beans direct live odyssey right whatever it is once you have your calibrated settings how in the world do you actually see the frequency response pre and post frequency response of your height speakers right you all know and i know i've done videos where i can pretty much use rew to get the frequency response of my bass level speakers Right, and I've I've also used the Omni Mic uh, software and the mic to do the same. Right, but it's all just your base level speakers. Sure, you can trick uh, REW or Omni Mic right by plugging in your height speakers into one of your your main speaker channels, and then you can get that. But that's a lot of work. I have to get behind you know my audio rack and switch out the the connectors. So I was looking for an easy way to do this and did some research and I came across a video from Obsessive Compulsive Audiophile which he did a couple years ago about measuring height speakers using REW and in that video or the description of that video he has a link to height channel sweeps that's what we're going to talk about today I'm going to show you how to download those sweeps and then run those sweeps in REW to chart out the frequency response of your height speakers. So if you go to Obsessive Compulsive Audio Files YouTube channel, he has a video on Dolby Atmos height channel measurements and calibration with REW. Within the description of this video, he has the REW Atmos channel sweeps. All you do is click on the Google Drive, download the sweeps, and once you have the files downloaded, you'll see them right here, uh, you know, in your download folder. You can move them and create a whole new folder, which I did. I created an Atmos, REW Atmos Sweeps folder. As you can see, you have the Media Player logo on here. So the key here is I tried to play them, just, you know, just double click and play them. Uh, it doesn't. It doesn't play uh, or route to the right channels. Everything just goes to the front, left, and right speakers. So what you do is you right click and you open and you play them using the Windows Media Player, not the Media Player app. If you use the Windows Media Player, it will then route to the right channels. And that's all there is. Let's go over the REW setup before we run these sweeps. So we go into the preferences. I prefer using Java because Java will map all of the channels. But as you can see, you don't see any of your height speakers in here, right? So there is a workaround and that's what I'm going to cover. But I'm going to use the Wasapi driver that's uh, in REW. It's the exclusive mode for Denon AVR uh, using the NVIDIA high definition audio. We need to use that because that allows for proper mapping of your base speakers, as you can see right here. Then for the input device, I have the Omni mic that's selected. For timing reference, I use the center, center channel because it's right in the center of the room. Calibration files, you have the Denon. There is no calibration file for that, but then you have the Omni mic and I have the calibration file loaded here. Uh, comms, I disable the MIDI. API, no need to run the server. For analysis, there is no change here for any of the, the options. Leave it all the same. Equalizer, I just updated the 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 low frequency rise and the high frequency fall uh, at 500 ending frequency is 10 hertz and then the slope is the same 0.7 and this is all according to OCA right this is how he sets up uh, the REW equalizer section and then view you just have pretty much preferences in here but I use 500 maximum measurements uh, from a view standpoint and that is it so that's the preference now let's check the SPL levels really quick just to make sure that there is sound and I need to adjust the left speaker to 75 dB alright so it's actually minus 28 on the volume dial on the Denon okay so now that the volume is set at minus 28 on the Denon I'm gonna eliminate this we are going to go into the measure tab 
And here I have the reference file loaded from OCA. As you can see, the reference file runs from 0 to 24,000 hertz uh, at 48 kilohertz. And it's a WAV file. That's what's loaded in here. And once that loaded, you click start and there is no rush, right? So you take your time uh, and follow these steps. So first I, I'm going to hit start and then I'm going to play the top front left first, but I'm going to play not using the, the media player app, but you need to play this with the Windows media player. The difference is if I play this on the Denon, it may be different for other AVRs. If I play this on the media player app, the sound for all of the speakers basically is redirected to the front. So even though it'll say Dolby Atmos before I start the play, right, uh, for the file. And then once I play the file, it'll switch to Dolby Surround or something, right? So it wasn't working. So I figured out a way to do this, and which is you have to run it in the Windows Media Player app. And when you do that, then it properly maps to the correct channels. Okay, so let's start. We're going to use, like I said, the top front left, and I'm going to play it using the Windows Media Player app. So I'm going to stay quiet when the measurement starts. So I'm going to click start right here. All right, it's done. Here's the sweep at the 75 dB level. I'm going to switch it to variable smoothing. This is the top front left. Let me just rename that. Don't know why I called it that. So, and this is using Odyssey. Okay, so I'm using my Odyssey calibrated curve for all speakers to run this sweep. This is your top front left. Now let's measure the top front right. Let me just make. <laughs> this change to the naming convention here it's actually Odyssey not direct live or anything like that so I'm gonna update the name and keep everything else the same here start and here is the top front right just a little bit of a peak here but pretty similar in the low frequencies high frequencies this one's not high the mids, I guess. This one's, there's a little bit of difference here. Uh, but overall, the curve is pretty much in line. All right, let's go and do the top rear right. And here's the top rear right. So you have the top front left, top front right, and then top rear right. They all have the same anomaly going on in that in this range right here because that's where I have the null in my room. All right, now let's measure the last height speaker because I only have four right now. So, so we're going to measure the top rear left. See, so you have that same anomaly in in that 90 in the uh, yeah 90 to about 104 dB range. There is a null in my room, but all of these look pretty much the same, right? So if I just compare the top rear right and top rear left, very similar in the bass frequencies because I have the the subs, right? They are there's just slight variations, but not a whole lot different. And then the top fronts, left and right, are those right here. And that's it. So that's how you basically get your frequency responses for your height speakers. I hope you guys found this video useful. At least it's useful to me. Now I know how to measure my height speakers using REW. All right, guys, as usual, please don't forget to 
like, subscribe, and share this video, and I will see you guys in the next one.